Shalom, Call Halayim La Yahweh Ba Hashem Yaw Shai, Ba Hashem Rakakadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles, great millstone who are willing to the brothers that's pushing this truth throughout the four corners to the hopeful lake. Shalom. Now, this video is going to just touch up on rape mentioned in the scriptures. Straight to the point, and I'm going to start off in Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 23. If a damsel, which is, this is going to the strongs for that word damsel right there, all right? A young woman, marriageable young woman, all right? A marriageable young woman, that's a damsel, all right? Where was that? Who was that? 23. If a damsel, that is a virgin, all right, so she hasn't had sex yet, all right? Be betrothed, which is pretty much engaged, and sex itself is marriage, all right? So marriage is not putting on a ring, and a priest tells you to do your vows or whatever that's not marriage that's actually paganism marriage is when your your penis enters a woman's vagina that is marriage biblical marriage all right which is true marriage and betrothed is leading up to that point and of course they have ceremonies for that because once you have sex with a woman you're supposed to be together forever or until one of them dies right if a damsel that is a virgin be betrothed unto a husband, and a man find her in the city and lie with her, then ye shall bring them both out into the gate of that city, and ye shall stone them with the stones that they die. The damsel, because she cried not, being in the city, and the man, because he hath humbled his neighbor's wife, so thou shalt put away evil from among you. So, if a man goes up to a woman, and he pulls up on her, his intention is just to have sex. Now, it becomes rape when she, all right, doesn't want to have sex with him. So if you're in the city, of course, if she doesn't want to have sex with a man, she's going to ask for help. She's going to be screaming. And you're in the city, so there's people around to hear it. So if, if she's not screaming or anything like that, that means it wasn't technically right because she wanted it. That's why they're both being put to death here. This is verse 25. But if a man find a betrothed damsel in the field and a man force her and lie with her, then the man only that lay with her shall die. So this is the woman getting raped. And the woman's all good because she got raped. All right. But the man will die because he just raped a woman that's not a lawful thing to rape a betrothed woman right or a woman that's already married but unto the damsel thou shalt do nothing there is in the damsel no sin worthy of death for as when a man rises against his, against his neighbor and slave him even so is this matter so if i pull up on the neighbor and kill him right for he found her in the field, and the betrothed damsel cried, and there was none to save her. Because you're out in the forest, the wilderness, there's a very, very high chance that nobody's around to hear you scream. All right? And even if they do, they won't be able to pinpoint it. For he found her in the field, and the betrothed damsel cried, and there was none to save her. All right? This is verse 28. If a man find a damsel that is a virgin which is not betrothed, and lay hold on her, and lie with her, and they be found, then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's fathers fifty shekels of silver, and she shall be his wife, because he hath humbled her, he may not put her away all his days. All right? A man shall not take his father's wife, nor discover his father's skirt. So, if a man, all right, gets a woman, that's not betrothed, so she's not engaged, and she's a virgin, so she hasn't had, so she has no, she has no man, period, no man, she has no man, all right, that she's 
have any type of relationships with. If he raped her, that's lawful, all right? But he has to pay 50 shekels of silver, and he can't he can't put her away. And now a lot of people are not going to accept this, all right? Because we live in a society where women are put on a pedestal, feminism, so on and so forth. But women are almost like a commodity, pretty much. They're pretty much a, com a commodity, a commodity. They're objects for men. Men are above women in every aspect. All right? Besides the wickedness, of course. I'm going to reread that again. This is verse 28. If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, and lay hold on her, it's going into raping her, and lie with her, and they be found, then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's fathers 50 shekels of silver, because fathers, a woman, belongs to her father. Now, once the, and then the father picks a suitor for her, that woman to be with, the father picks the man. All right, that's typically how it works. So, but the, if, if this is breaking down um, slip ups, how do you handle slip ups in this? You know what I'm saying? So if a so if a man, I'm gonna repeat it. If a woman, virgin, not betrothed, she's pretty much single. She's single. She's not seeing nobody. And if a man pulls up on her, and he rapes her because she didn't she didn't want it, but he still got it in anyway. Rape, right? Just, just plain out rape. He has to pay the father fifty shekels of silver, and I think that in today's when you transfer, I think it's like four hundred bucks. I think. I may be off. I think it's about four or five hundred bucks. That's the equivalent of fifty shekels of silver. He, she has to pay the man fifty shekels, uh, the father fifty shekels of silver for humbling, take taking his daughter's virginity, and he has to make her his wife, not a concubine, his wife. And he he should not put her away all his days. So yes, in a sense, rape is lawful. Now, does that mean you go around just fucking raping everybody? Fuck no. All right? You got to use wisdom, of course. This has nothing to do with, with wickedness. We're not following, well, not us, but the rulers of this world do not follow the scriptures. So, all things are lawful, but not expedient. Let's get that. First Corinthians six and six and twelve. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. So yes, this this is this is this is um goes against the grain of what we grew up on, but it's the scriptures. The scriptures are absolute. We can't have our feelings tied in into these into these precepts, all right? Because people, I seen a lot of a lot of brothers when I started learning the truth, kind of kind of feel feel some type of way about this, especially other people that try to scoff at the men of the Lord. They try to bring this up, and I seen it was one guy. I think his name was Polite. He understood this. And then he was pretty much saying, fuck the Bible or something like that. He was saying, he understood it like it's talking about rape. And then he was like, okay. And then he said, what did he say? Word for word. He was like, okay, now that the Bible pretty much justifies rape, he was like, so why are we reading the Bible? Or why are we upholding the Bible? Pretty much saying, fuck the Bible. And I think he, he has videos of him fucking using Bibles as target practice. All right. And ironically... Don't know if it's true or not, but they he see he, he quote unquote raped a fourteen or fifteen year old girl. They found his found his seed his semen on her clothes or something like that. Don't know how true that is. Could be you know false accusations or whatever. But just for that just for that to be blown up just shows that Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah is not to be mocked. But this was just straight to the point. I'm gonna reread it one more time. If a man, this is Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 28. 
if a man find a damsel that is a virgin, so a damsel, a young woman, a virgin, all right, hasn't had intercourse, which is not betrothed, so she's single, single, right, and lay hold on her, so take her by first force, and lie with her, and they be found, then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father fifty shekels of silver, and shall be put, and shall and she shall be his wife, because he hath humbled her. He may not put her away all his days. A man shall not take his father's wife, nor discover his father's skirt. So uh, going to that, a man is should will should should not and will not ever have sex with his father's wife, or see his father naked as well. You're not supposed to see your your kin naked. All right, now of course when you're you're a newborn baby, you know what I mean. But other than anything along those lines, man, you're not supposed to see your, your mom butt naked and you're 25 years old. So all right, and vice versa. You understand? But the main topic was Deuteronomy what 23, all the way down to 29. And like I said, people do not want to agree with these scriptures. Because, like I say, they get in your feelings or whatever. Me, personally, as soon as I read it, I understood it. But I was already rooted in the, in the scriptures that I didn't feel some type of way about it. Because I already know through the precepts and just, just common sense that men are clearly above women in every single aspect. And let's just prove that real quick. Um... It's Colossians chapter 3 and 18. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it is fit in the Lord. So you're supposed to, so women are supposed to submit themselves to their husbands like they submit themselves to Yahweh by Shem Shah. Now let's get a, um, another precept that goes into this more. Ephesians 5 and 22, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. There's another one. I think it's this right here, the 16th chapter. Let me see. Give me a moment. It's another one that's just that, that just perfectly breaks down the rank. Get the, the exact verse that was going into it. Give me a moment. Ephesians, the fifth chapter. I think that, I would think I was already on. I thought it was. Could have sworn it was another one. In Colossians. Let me see. Give me a moment. All right, I'm going to start at Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh For the husband is the head of the wife. Even as Hamashiach is the head of the church, so as Yahusha is the head of the Israelites, which are the church. All right, that's the same type of order as a man for a woman. So the woman has no authority over a man. But in this society, you got the goddamn devil ruling, and he has pumped up the woman. And you see how that has affected um the dating market, so to speak, in um households. Like women go around just just sleeping with 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 everybody, 
and then it, the game, the, the dating market is so bad that you have red pill coaches telling you how to talk to women. I mean, it's that bad out here, man. You got to you got to go to a, a dating coach on YouTube to learn how to talk to a woman. That's bad, man. That is very, very bad. That's how, that's what this fucking, these Edomites have done. And they specifically was trying to do it to Jake. But now it's affected their women. Now Esau Edom is getting put on child support. And suffering from this, this Me Too movement. But guess what? In Jacob's trouble, all that is just going to go completely down the drain. Completely down the drain. So let's prove that this church is, um... The Israelites, all right. Acts 7 and 38, that is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel which spake to him in Mount Sinai and with our fathers who received the lively oracles to give unto us. So that's the, the church is the Israelites, all right. So as Yahweh shies to the Israelites is how a man... Is to a woman. So anybody that 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 um that anybody that disagrees with anything I just said, you do not um you do not believe the scriptures. That means the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shah is not on you. Look at this man. It's glitching. I don't even know. I mean that's Satan right there, man. Like it's just. And it only does it on 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 a blue letter. It, this this does not happen on any other website or anything else I ever do. It's just always this. You see what I'm saying? I mean, look look at that. I'm in that off right there. Shallow one. 